Family and friends, thank you all for coming today for this wonderful occasion. You have come here from near and far to share in this commitment Ryan and Caitlin make to one another, to offer you love and support for their union, and to allow them to start their married life together surrounded by the people most important to them. Yesterday I was speaking to Kaylin's grandfather, better known as Thurber, or Papa. <laughs> he mentioned to me how proud he is of all three of his granddaughters, for how they planned and worked together on today's celebration, and more, most importantly, how happy he is to be here today. As they say, weddings and funerals. <laughs> I had to get that in there somehow, right? <clears throat> the times that bring families and friends together. Now, mixing the funeral director with the wedding is, is definitely a new twist uh, and a first for me. 
But I just want to say how honored I am to have been asked to officiate today. It truly is a privilege. So Ryan and Kaylin, here are a few words of wisdom regarding marriage. <clears throat> Listen carefully. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It is remember to say I love you at least once a day. Love you, Michelle. It's never going to sleep angry. Staying up and fighting all night accomplishes nothing. It's knowing when to speak and when not to. It's ever a question, Rye. I want you to remember these three words. Lock it up. <laughs> Just lock it up. Please join hands. Do you, Ryan, take this Karen? I'm, I'm sorry. You... <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know how that got out. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you, Ryan, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? in sorrow and joy to have and to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you boast your life. I do. Do you, Kaylin, take this man child? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Adam. Do you, Kaylin, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health, in sorrow and joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you boast your life. I do. H.P. Johnson on a flat bottom metal boat. Coke cans and BB guns are wiring old fence posts. But despite all this, a couple of fights, which I remain undefeated in, <laughs> and a couple of hospital visits, Brian and I have always been extremely close. And I've always been very proud of him. We got even closer in our teenage years when we unexpectedly lost our dad. And we relied heavily on each other in a way only brothers can. We still do today. We learned a very valuable lesson. Life is short and sweet, and it's important to always make it count. Something we've done our best to live by, for better or worse. I can remember when she told me about Ryan. There was something different in her voice and I could hear the smile behind the phone. Ryan has truly brought out a whole new side of Kaylin that I knew was always in there. She isn't as shy anymore and has a whole new found confidence that I love. I knew he was the one when she agreed to go on a, to a Red Sox game with him and his friends on the second date. And I knew that was very courageous of her. <laughs> Sometimes we're all in water, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And if I'm being honest, your first and my last name would just sound better together. And probably always will, like a cup of coffee and a sunrise. Sunday drives and time to kill. What's the point of this on guitar if it ain't got no strings? Here. 